Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm here to talk to you about the new game mechanics in the Eventide set. In this first video, I'll be demonstrating the major mechanic of the Eventide set, Hybrid. This is a continuation of the major mechanic in the Shadowmoor set. If you already know how it works, go ahead and skip forward a minute or so. The end of the video has some new info for you. This is an example of a hybrid mana symbol. As you can see, it's two mini mana symbols smushed into one. When the symbol appears in a cost, you can pay for it with one blue mana or one red mana. The symbol is both a blue mana symbol and a red mana symbol. A card with this cost would have a converted mana cost of one. If a card has any hybrid mana symbols in its mana cost, then it's a hybrid card. Check out Crag Puka. You can tell it's a hybrid card because it has a two-tone frame, half blue and half red. Crag Puka's mana cost is blue-red, blue-red, blue-red. You can pay for it by spending three blue mana, two blue mana and one red mana, one blue mana and two red mana, or three red mana. In other words, it'll fit right into a mono blue deck or a mono red deck. Of course, it'll be great in a blue red deck too. Crag Puka is a multicolor card. Regardless of how you pay its cost, it's both blue and red. It'll be affected by cards that care about blue cards, and it'll be affected by cards that care about red cards. And in Eventide, there are plenty of both. Even better, cards that care about both blue cards and red cards could give Crag Puka a double bonus. Hybrid mana symbols always appear in costs. Most appear in mana costs, like I just showed you, but some appear in activated ability costs. Paying a hybrid ability cost works just like paying a hybrid mana cost. If you've played with Shadowmoor hybrid cards, you know all that. So what's different with Eventide? To answer that question, let's look at the other side of Crag Puka. This is the magic color wheel that appears on the back of each card. It shows the natural allies and enemies of each color. For example, white's allied colors are green and blue. White has the most in common with these colors, and lots of cards have been printed to support these pairs. White's enemy colors are red and black. White has the least in common with these colors, and many white cards actively hurt red or black decks. All the Shadowmoor hybrid cards were allied colored pairs. White-blue, blue-black, black-red, red-green, and green-white. All the Eventide hybrid cards, on the other hand, are enemy colored pairs. White-black, blue-red, black-green, red-white, and green-blue. Although the hybrid mechanic is the same, the hybrid cards you'll see in this set are vastly different. But the good news is they play well together. If you want to build a mono-white deck, for example, you can fill it with not just mono-white cards, but also hybrid cards that are red-white, green-white, white-blue, and white-black. Who says enemies can't be friends? 